Welcome to RSS Singapura Changi Naval Base in Singapore. Today we are taking you on board literal mission vessel RSS Independence, the latest addition to the Republic of Singapore Navy. As you will see, it is very much a next generation vessel. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Chiu, Head of the Littoral Mission Vessel Project Office. Welcome on board RSS Independent. RSS Independent is the first of the series of eight littoral mission vessels built to replace our fearless class patrol vessel, which has served us very well for the past 20 years. The LMV is designed to conduct a wide spectrum of operation to safeguard our waters and protect our sea lines of communication. The LMV is designed to be able to operate much further and longer with greater endurance and faster speed to respond to maritime incidents out at sea. Smart technologies has also been incorporated to the ship to enable the crew to operate more effectively and efficiently. The LMVs are also designed with sharper capabilities, better sensors and weapons, and highly configurable with mission modular capability to embark a wide range of missions to conduct the full range of uh, uh, missions that the LMV is supposed to undertake and uh, with a smarter, faster and uh, sharper capabilities of the LMV, they will be able to meet the future needs of the RSN. The LMV is a highly configurable uh, ship with a capability of embarking up to eight 20-foot containers to support the full range of missions required of the ship. The LMV is equipped with uh, sharper sensors capability like a three-dimensional radar with high resolution to detect small targets that could be operating in a very congested environment as well as high-end conventional threats that could be operating far away. They are also equipped with uh, calibrated response weapons to be able to uh, respond to a lower-end threat all the way to the high-end threats. Say for example, the non-lethal weapons like the water cannon system, the long-range acoustic device and the uh, Zener light will be able to deter low-end threats. If high-end threats are required, they are equipped with 76mm gun and a surface-to-air missile to protect and defend against uh, high-end threats. They are also equipped with 12.7mm uh, millimeter guns as well as 25mm guns to deter uh, maritime security threats. The LMV is designed to be able to operate with a very efficient crew size. Uh, the baseline, the crew can be operate, the ship can be operated with 23 crews, and uh, if a higher missions requirement uh, uh, is uh, is required, uh, the crew size could go up to about 29. Given that littoral and uh, maritime security operations where the LMV needs to undertake tends to be bridge centric, the concept of integrating the combat information center, the machinery control room, and the bridge together at the bridge uh, was conceived. In so doing, we will be able to synergize our operations uh, functions together and streamline some of our workflow processes to be able to operate more effectively and efficiently. Where we are is the command cluster where the commanding officer and the principal of warfare officer will be operating. And we have a very smart commander console which is capable of fusing all the information from the engineering to navigation and combat function all into one single console to enhance the commanding officer situation awareness and uh, accelerate the decision making process. Over here you could see that uh, there's pre-layouts that the officers can configure to give them the awareness. Over here is the combat management system to give the officers the combat uh, situation out at sea. The engineering function is here and they have an electro-optic system over here to give them the full awareness. They are highly customizable and can be configured. And uh, there are many functions such as uh, post-it functions you know, where the crew can put in information and share across to the other cluster. Or even, say for example, images. They could share images and uh, annotate, you know, and then send it to the operators for investigation or send it to another ship out at sea. And uh, they could be quickly configured and put it in certain notepad and then shared across to uh, other uh, other ships at sea so that they can look at the same contact 
and investigate. And they are highly customizable. They could be used for tabletop discussion. You can turn around, position in anywhere for, for discussion, for meetings. And if need be, you know, uh, close it. And perhaps I could show you the combat management system. If they need to have a full combat management system, they are all multi-touch gesture-based. Technology easy to use, contextualized uh, to help the crew to enhance their situation awareness as well as uh, the user enhance the user experience. And uh, with a single touch, they could switch to even look at the the platform system, and then control the CCTVs, control the machineries, and look at the navigation information uh, for the move and float function of the ship. So here we are, it's the mission bay. It has been designed according to a workflow processes. So the crew, after they finish the briefing, they can come to the mission deck, mission bay, open up the hatches and the doors, prepare their arms, their rifle, their bulletproof vest, and off they go to the launch and recovery system and deploy for maritime security operation. This has been designed according to our workflow processes. And over here, as you can see over here, this is the uh, twist lock that we can put a 20 foot containers on uh, each side which is used to deploy un autonomous underwater vehicles or even uh, additional accommodation spaces or even the boarding modules, boarding gears over here for them to do their operations. And we have standard interface over here, the local area network for communication, combat information, video, where the mission modules can be connected and uh, shared across to the ship's uh, combat information center. This is a very unique uh, launch and recovery system is capable of deploying uh, up to two 11-meter boats. And it, as you can see, they are operated by a stern door with nine sets of uh, hydraulic wheels, which can be configured according to the how form of a different kind of boats. To launch a boat is very easy. We just need to open the stern ram door, release the brake, and off we go to launch the boat. To recover, the boat will drive up to the ram door, and the wheels, as a hydraulic wheels, will wheel the boat all the way up here. And in fact, we have a uh, winching system for any boats that may have difficulty coming out, we could use pass them a line and winch them up. Okay. And this system, we only require two person and uh, two minutes to deploy and recover the boats. Unlike the crane system, you know, uh, it takes much longer. You need at least six person, fifteen minutes to deploy a boat. Yeah, and we can deploy the boat while the ship is moving as well.